Well, let's bring in our infectious disease expert, Dr. Peter Chin Hung with UCSF to help answer some of our pressing questions about COVID. Let's talk, COVID, let's talk about this report first. No more testing at colleges, at many colleges. You've been protesting. Experts say pro testing is good, a great way to reduce the spread. Your thoughts on testing less now? I think given where we are right now, Janelle, it's not unreasonable to at least uh, hold the testing program, see how things go. I think uh, just like what we are seeing with Department of Public Health, with countries like England, scaling back could be scaled up again, uh, depending on the situation, depending on the new variant. But for where we are right now, and particularly given a, a college like Sanford, Berkeley, other colleges in the area where there are high vaccination rates, it probably is okay given, uh, you know, again, that people are protected and that the environment in which the students are, which is the Bay Area, is generally very protected at this moment from serious disease, hospitalization and death. Okay, let's talk about this variant, BA2. It's known as the Omicron subvariant, very contagious. Uh, it's spreading across Europe, Asia. Here, our positivity rate has remained steady. Are we going to see a surge from this BA2, or are we going to just remain around, hovering around 1.5% statewide? I think at the end of the day, nobody really knows for sure. I think personally, we'll see an increase in cases because of spring break, people moving around, restrictions. But it wouldn't be the surge in the way we think about a surge. There won't be any vertical wall. There may be like a little brick in terms of how much we'll go. Because again, we were hit so recently by BA1. Uh, our hospitals are going to be protected. We may see more cases in the community. We may feel anxious about them because we don't know where they're going to go. But I want to reassure people that if you've been vaccinated and boosted, you're going to do very well, even if there's BO2 or XE or what have you. Dr. Peter, one thing that surprised me today when I looked at statistics, it was the positivity rate. I check it out every day. The state, it's right now 1.5%. San Francisco, which usually is below the state positivity rate, is the highest in the Bay Area at 3.7. San Mateo, every, basically every Bay Area county is higher than the state positivity rate of 1.5, which is unusual. We're usually below the state average. What's happening? I think what's happening is that um, people are coming to the Bay Area. So what you're seeing is probably risk from other communities in the United States. You know, I'm walking around town. I'm here right now on, you know, near to Cape Fico, and there's tons of people walking around. It, and a lot of them are not from the Bay Area. They're from all over. So again, in the pandemic, it was really the Bay Area risk only. But right now, it's the Bay Area plus everybody who's visiting risk. Uh, as well. And that's what you're seeing reflected in numbers. Yeah, it is spring break and people love to come here during the summer. Okay, Dr. Peter Ching Hong with UCSF. Thanks so much for your time.